The BTR-60 wheeled armored personnel carrier is a weapon developed by the Soviet Union in the late 1950s. It is considered a groundbreaking piece of equipment that ushered in the era of modern wheeled armored personnel carriers. However, one important reason for its success is attributed to the Soviet Union's national influence, which allowed it to achieve a large production quantity. In fact, during the same period, there was another equally good armored personnel carrier called the OT-64 Scott. Its individual performance was even better, but sometimes it was mistaken for the BTR-60. As early as the development of the BTR-60 in the Soviet Union, countries such as Czechoslovakia learned some information. At that time, the country was still equipped with replica World War II half-track armored personnel carriers and replica BTR-50P. These equipment were relatively outdated and needed to develop new models as replacements for the next generation. Thus, the OT-64 was born. The development of the OT-64 may have been influenced by some intelligence about the BTR-60. It was also designed as an 8A8 wheeled vehicle, which looks similar to the BTR-60 in appearance, but the two have no direct relationship in terms of technology and other aspects. The OT-64 has a wedge-shaped front end, and the armor of the vehicle body incorporates a sloping arrangement. Especially the rear armor is similar to the half-track armored personnel carriers of the German army in World War II, with a backward tilt. However, the armor thickness of the OT-64 is slightly larger than that of the BTR-60. The thickest part of its frontal armor is 13 millimeters, while the BTR-60 is 9 millimeters. Although neither can be considered very thick, thicker armor is still somewhat effective when facing damage such as shell fragments. At that time, armored vehicles generally installed three defense devices, and the OT-64 also had them. The driver and the vehicle commander sit side by side in the compartment at the front of the vehicle. Behind them is the engine compartment, which is equipped with a 180 horsepower air-cooled V8 diesel engine. This configuration is more reliable than the two gasoline engines of the BTR-60 and is less prone to catching fire. The chassis adopts an 888 structure with a larger distance between the second and third pairs of wheels, which is a significant difference from the BTR-60. The vehicle is equipped with a tire pressure control system controlled by the driver, and the steering of the vehicle is completed by the front two pairs of wheels. The vehicle has the ability to travel on water, with propulsion provided by two propellers at the rear. Behind the engine compartment is the troop compartment. The troop version can transport up to 18 soldiers. The engine located at the front can provide a kind of defense capability. If the vehicle is hit head-on, it will reduce the casualties of the passengers. The engine of the BTR-60 is installed at the rear. This arrangement also has the advantage of allowing large-sized doors to be installed at the rear, making it convenient for soldiers to enter and exit quickly. There are also doors above the troop compartment for entry and exit. The OT-64 was initially produced in two versions, the troop version, which can transport 18 soldiers, and the armed version, which can transport 15 soldiers. The armed version is equipped with a small one-person rotating turret on the roof, with a main weapon of a 14.5mm KPWT heavy machine gun and an auxiliary weapon of a 7.62mm PKT machine gun. The gunner has an independently adjustable height seat. The maximum road speed of the OT-64 is 94 km per hour, and the water speed is 9 km per hour. The maximum range is about 700 km. It has slightly better maneuverability than the BTR-60 and stronger protection and troop transport capabilities. Therefore, many people believe that the overall level of the OT-64 is higher than that of the BTR-60. Of course, everything has two sides. The drawback of the larger carrying space of the OT-64 is that the vehicle's projected area is slightly larger. The vehicle's fully loaded weight is about 14.5 tons, which is higher than the 910 tons of the BTR-60. This will have a disadvantageous impact during off-road combat. However, overall, the OT-64 is still a successful armored personnel carrier, as evidenced by its exports. In addition to Czechoslovakia and Poland, more than 10 countries including Cambodia, Egypt and Uruguay have also purchased it. 
Many are still in service in the early 21st century, indicating that its performance is reliable enough.